All right, so we'll start off with Brett Gagan. So Brett is the serial, a serial startup founder, product designer, and heads the Blue Chili Brisbane Accelerator. Brett, come over and let's hear what you got to say. Hi, everyone. Um, now, it's supposed to be a 15 minute presentation. I think I've actually prepared a 30 minute presentation that's likely to go for only three minutes. So we'll see where it ends up in that. Um, yeah, um, work for Blue Chili now, but haven't always done that. Um, so back in 2000, I started a design agency, and it turned into quite a successful design agency. But in 2009, that big thing called the GFC happened, and by 2010, I had lost half the revenue in my business. So it came to that point where it's like, do I continue to build my design agency, or do I go back and actually be an entrepreneur, which is what I always wanted to be, right back from being a kid. So by 2011, I had sold all my assets, packed my, my life's possessions into a bag, and moved to San Francisco. I'll look closer to the canal. Sorry? I'll look closer to the canal. The microphone. <laughs> so after about six months in San Francisco, I took this photo. Now, at the time I took this photo, I had um, my startup, which obviously had um, no chance of failing, had actually failed, and I'd run out of money. So at this point, when I actually took this photo, I was homeless. And that meant sleeping on people's couches, it meant staying up all night working in McDonald's and sleeping on benches and trains the next day, and it meant actually living with homeless people at points. So for someone who hadn't lived outside of you know nice surroundings, I would go backpacking and stay in Hilton hotels. Um, it was quite an eye-opening experience for me. But what that made me think, so I could either, at that point, I could either pack my bags and go home, or I could stay there. I had three months left before my visa ran out, and I had a plane ticket booked at the end of those three months. I said, right, I'm gonna make it to the end of those three months because the learnings that I could get from that that place and the connections I could make in three months would be valuable. So I set out on a mission to learn A, why I failed in my startup and what I needed to do to be successful because I wanted to be successful. Oh, that's a bad image. Um, so when I was over there, I got to hang out um, at a lot of startups. Um, this was one of them, but the image you can't really see it. So this is a bunch of 10 guys living in a two bedroom house down in Menlo Park in San Francisco. Now it looks a bit scrappy, but these guys have just raised $6 million from the likes of Ashton Kutcher um, for a company called Circle. So I got to hang out with them and saw what they did and saw how they made their company successful. I also got to hang out at, this is Facebook, this is Google, again, just gathering intel to learn what I needed to learn. So, on this journey that I went on over there, um, I learned one really big thing which I want to share with you tonight. So this app, I don't know if anyone remembers it, it's an app called Burbn, B-U-R-B-N. Now, when they released it, they, the founders were really big into drinking bourbon and whiskey and things in bars. And they saw the success of Foursquare and they thought, hey, we, we could do something in this space. So they created an app where you can share photos of the drinks you're drinking, share your location with friends, and message friends and tell them what you're up to. Now, they failed. The app didn't do very well, people didn't get traction, and the big problem they found they had was they built too much functionality into the app and it got really complicated. So they said, right, what have we done here? Um, what is working in our app and what isn't working in our app? And what they did is they stripped out every single thing that wasn't getting traction, just kept the one thing that had any traction in their app. So they rebuilt it, renamed it, and relaunched it. The app they relaunched is called Instagram. So this, is, this isn't a unique story in Silicon Valley. Every startup you talk to, everyone you meet, they started as doing something else or something you know, similar to what they're doing, but they've pivoted. Google, it started out as a way to cross-reference um, uh, references at the bottom of, of academic articles and to, to, to see which references actually had better, a better quality reference than other references. 
Uber. He started out as a limousine, limousine sharing service. <coughs> the point here is, is that doing a startup is, is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So how can you use this knowledge if you're doing a startup or doing a business to actually get through those problems and become successful? Well, there's, there's a few cues you can learn from this guy. This is, this is Chris Rock. One of, one of the comedians, one of the best comedians of today. So everyone says that Chris is really successful. But what people don't realise is that when he's doing a show, he will do 50 shows at this place, which is the Success Factory, with a note, leak, yellow legal notepad up on stage. He will say something. If people don't get an audience, he crosses it off. If people like something, he marks it down. And he will do 50 of these before he does one of his major shows to find out what works and what doesn't. Another cue is from the investors over in Silicon Valley you know, on Sand Hill Road. They, they know they can't make one investment and that investment is going to be successful. They have to make multiple, multiple investments to find that one that's actually going to work. So this comes down to something that I like to call small bets. So if you're doing a business, what you need to do is find those small little elements that you can actually do to, to find out if something works or not and find out what works. I like to think of it like, like this, this little fella here, this element. And when you start a company, you might have that vision of what this company is, what it does, what problem it's solving. But the truth is, until you start, you never really know. A lot of corporates make this mistake, a lot of, a lot of corporations, that they, they develop this idea of what they're going to build, and they just go and build it. Then they launch it in the market and, we, and can't work out why it hasn't worked. Um, startups in Silicon Valley, okay, some still do this, but successful ones know better than to do this. They start out with one feature, one small thing they can build to actually find out if it works or not. If it works, great. Work out what the next step is. If it doesn't work, do something different. That's not just in product you're developing or the features. It's in marketing as well. Don't go and spend all your money doing Facebook ads. Spend a small amount, a really small amount, on three things. See which one gets the best results. Keep the one that gets the best results, get rid of the rest. So, I'm actually running kind of on time. Actually, this is going to go a bit short, so it's good. Um, this is one of the founders that I work with every day up at Blue Chili in, in Brisbane. Um, awesome family called Sarah. Her company is Folktale. They set out to build, or to put a director in your pocket. So when you're creating a video, you can actually follow the direction of an award-winning director to actually put a video together that's not just a, you know, a quick grab, but it's actually put together properly. So we didn't know if this was going to work. We didn't know, you know, if there's a market for this. So we, we built paper, paper storyboards. We gave them out to people to follow to make film based on those storyboards to see if people liked it, see what the results were. That was, that was their small bet, and they got so many learnings from doing that one, one exercise. The next exercise was doing the same thing with marketing. Do a whole heap of different advertisements to put them on Facebook and see which ones worked and which ones didn't. They started with us just over eight months ago. They now have a product in market, and two weeks ago I was shopping them around to venture capitalists in Silicon Valley. So, Making those small bets can get your company from nothing to something. So that's actually it for me. Um, so if you have any questions, um, I'll be hanging around a little bit afterwards so please go and have a chat. Thanks.